Hello YouTube, FSP here. So, uh, after my ham radio tutorial I did a couple days ago, there's been some stuff coming up about if I become a ham, the government's going to come raid my house because they'll know where I live. It's, it's fear-mongering. It's what it is. Is there a database of ham radio operators with their names, call signs, and addresses? Yeah, there is. But trust me, the government already knows where you live. You pay taxes every year, right? You send your state taxes, you send your federal taxes in. That all has your address on it. Uh, so I wanted to dispel some of these rumors. And by the way, there's nothing on a ham license that says you have to operate at home. You can operate portable. You can operate mobile. Uh, nothing says your station has to be at your house. Uh, so there's, there's nothing in a ham license that says you have to use your ham radio at your house, at your address. That is fear-mongering. That, that's people are just telling people crap just to make them cower in fear and not get a ham license. So I wanted to dispel some of this bullshit because that's what it is. It's bullshit. Yes, there is a database of ham radio operators, their addresses, their physical address, and their call sign, and their names, of course. You can go to FCC.gov and find the the ham radio or the amateur radio call sign database. Yes, that's a fact. But if you pay taxes, they already know what your address is. So that's a bunch of phony baloney. Am I worried about the FCC or the federal government coming to confiscate my ham radios? No, because when SHTF comes, if I'm at the bug out location, I won't be here. And uh, so there's a lot of people out there spewing a lot of BS. Uh, and I had one person comment, all you need is a technician license. That's the easiest license to get. That is true. All you need to operate 2 meter uh, FM, like repeaters and stuff like I've been talking about, all you need is a technician license. I'm an amateur extra. And, and all that is, when you get more, when you get the bigger license, you get more frequencies. You get more bandwidth to use. So, the technician license is perfectly fine for emergency communications. Uh, so, if you pay taxes, uh, if you if you pay for car tags on your vehicles and all this other stuff, the government already knows where you live. They already have your address. So, uh, if you're if you've been not getting pursuing a license because of this database. It's, it's, it's a bunch of BS. If you pay taxes, if you have a job, they already know your address. They know where to send your W-2s to, right? Anyway, I wanted to dispel some of the uh, fear porn bullshit about ham radio operators and, get, and attaining a, a ham radio license. So, OkiCon, any of the others, uh, I hope this helps because uh, some of these prepper channels, they want you to be fearful of everything, okay? Anyhow, I'm done. Y'all have a, a blessed day. It's raining here today, so nice, cool, rainy day. Uh, I may get out in the shop and do some stuff. May make some videos out there. I don't know. But uh, don't be afraid to get a ham license. The government already knows where you live. Trust me on that. When you fill out uh, 4473, when you buy a firearm, your address is on all that stuff. They already know where you live. Y'all have a good one. This is FSP. Dispelling the myths of ham radio licenses.